Hey guys, what's going on? Jenko Sports here, bringing you another episode of our Addicted to Addicts series. I know this isn't the next one chronologically, and I think it's meant to be Bronby, but I ran out of footage, and I woke up late today, so I ran out of time to make any more. So the next thing I can do is show you the next episode of the Charlton series. So, you saw us get off to a pretty good start against Cardiff. It wasn't bad, it could have been a lot better. But now we move on to our Capital One Cup game against Luton. Now, you lot may not see it as that important, but to me... It's a domestic cup, which means I want to do well in it because I've still yet to win a domestic cup. Yeah, I've won the Vanarama South, which on the scale of leagues, let's be honest, is like pulling an absolute whale on a night out here. But I want to try and win my first domestic cup as well. I've got a feeling FM15 is my time. We've got a good enough side and we're facing Luton. We should be in real contention here to get a massive, massive win. But Fulham want to steal Big Eagle. I'm not happy about that at all. So I was booting right off. And you'll see what happens here. So now his agent comes in like, well, if he's staying here, he wants an improved deal, doesn't he? To which my reaction was something like, if you do not leave my office within the next five seconds, I'll spin kick you so hard, you not only regurgitate last month's kebab, but also think it looks somewhat advertising. So anyway, he comes in here. You can see we not... I hate this scenario. When the agents come in and they don't give you an offer they want, they just give you like a load of blank space, if you pardon the pun. But no, they literally just make you fill it in. And if you don't do it well enough and you offer him two grand, they say, nah, he don't want to talk to you. He don't want to talk. He's moving to Cambridge. And then you've lost them for good. They're just gone forever because you've had no indicators as to what the player wants. It's like a girl just going to you, you're going to cook me tea tonight, Liam. If you don't cook it right, you're evicted. Well, what do you like? I'm not telling you what I like. If you don't cook it right, you're getting out of here. You can back your bags. So that's what we've got. But anyway, we keep Igor Vettakele. That was never a problem. I'm not going to let him go for the world of me. But this game, because it's against Luton, I see it's a good opportunity to not only rest some first-team players for the league, but also start some big names that we may not be familiar with just yet. And for that, I turn to our fantastic and very, very talented selection of regens. Now, by fantastic and very, very talented... I mean, there's two that I would actually start. Martin Alderson, this guy's one of them. He will be our starting right back today. So going to replace Laurie Wilson. You can just see me there shaking things around a bit and looking for who else I can rest. I'm also starting that 18-year-old striker. If you remember back to the first episode, we bought this guy in. And he has been nothing short of impressive for the under-21s. He's got a couple of goals this season already. So I thought, you know what? We'll give him a shot. We've still got our main striker on the bench of Duke DM. We're resting Vettakele still. He's pretty much dead out there. And don't forget, we've got Big Piotr on the bench, Mane's on the bench if needed. We've got a strong bench and backup if needed. But for now, I reckon by not making too many changes, we've got enough talent to see off Luton today very comfortably. We're also starting Risky Shan yet, but Risky Shan yet. So Retsuka Shanajad is in the squad against Luton. 58 seconds into the matchup. And you can see Retsuka Shanajad doing the classic Retsu thing there, drawing nine defenders near him and twatted it backwards. Other than that, all he tended to do was sky over the bar, really. But Jordan Cousins losing the ball, then winning back his pride and dignity. Retzer plays it up to our 18-year-old striker. Retzer on the press. See what I mean? He, I mean, FM's doing a good job here. Oh, my! Laurie Wilson there just got absolutely roundhouse kicked. Fell over like a sack of potatoes. Alderton better not lose that. Look at that. Look. The little regen coming in well. He's basically Chris Solly in disguise. He's the next Chris Solly for Charlton. Watch this space. He'll be starting a few more cup games, I reckon. Jackson curls a free kick round the post. He's like a pair of GHDs. And the ball goes round the back of the bar. So, 45 minutes in. It's basically half time. And it's nil-nil. Nil-nil to Luton. They haven't had a shot. Which I'm not sure is good or bad, really. Because it means we should be finishing. We're playing them off the park. And we still can't get a shot in. But now edge of the box. You can see it's been reeled in there. Genus the penis! Swings it onto his other foot and then misses the goal completely. It's wide enough. I don't know how you've hit the football manager sign from there, to be honest with you. The goal was right in front of you. It wasn't tricky. You don't need a canton off. Initially, all you've got to do is twat it in there. But 61 minutes have been played. Still, the deadlock is yet to be broken. And a shot from our 18... Well, that was good. Again, brilliant stuff there. 74 minutes in, starting to get a bit worried. Not only have we got three bookings, but I'm feeling that this game might just have a bit of a bitter twist. And the last thing I want to do is tire these players out. So we bring on Jude to try and make a difference. We also take a look at what we can do on the wings there. You can see we've still got a couple more substitutions to make. And some of our bigger names waiting to probably get on the pitch and make a difference. So the one we're going to bring on first is Roman. And we're adapting to that formation we always seem to do in the second half. If we need a goal, we 
move Jordan Cousins up to a centre mid and then switch our CDM to a cam and bring on Julian Dazar all on man. That normally tends to work quite well. What a challenge there! By the skipper, Johnny Jackson. Goodmanson intercepts. Charlton have got to break quick now as soon as they possibly can. Jacoulis plays it up to Gina. There's space on the wing. There's space on the wing. There's space on the wing! All right, they're obviously not listening to me now. That's not how team talks work. And Genus again. And I don't know how he's done it. I think he's just got a bit of a fling going on with that FM sign. Maybe he's taken a bit of E. And he just thinks that that is the goal. Maybe the goal takes from corner flag to corner flag. And Tuka Diang gets a nodder over the bar. And I'm starting to get a bit worried. The traffic lights come out. Pope dribbles halfway up the pitch. I don't know what else to do. It's last chance. Not saloon after that. That was useless. 88th minute. The score is nil-nil. A domestic cup tie. But in the next round is up for grabs. That means it's last chance. Saloon, everybody up. And Nick Pope, get him in the box. Pull the goalie. Roman, re, hurry up, play it up. Here we go. Everyone in. Took a deal. Come on, John Bell Goodmanson seals it for Charlton in the 89th minute. What an absolute joker. He's got it. Fucking cheers, boys. Fucking cheers, boys. Get that corner cleared now. Here we go. Can we break again? Roman's picked it up. He's got a pacey little man ahead of him. He plays it down to the one. The only compatriot, Calamaria. Can he whip a ball into... Oh, he's been absolutely desolated. But it doesn't matter. Charlton beat Luton. We're through to the next round of the FA Cup. And for the next game, we go and praise the Seagulls of Brighton. So that should be an interesting matchup. But thanks for tuning in to this episode, guys. As always, if you have liked it, please let me know by leaving a like. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button to join the Kebab Nation. There will be another video on the way tomorrow. Apologies, it hasn't been a bit soon. I've been really busy this weekend with work. We're back to regular uploads from Ejenko Sports. I'll see you later.